A, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we did a piece about net neutrality. Uh, and there was a moment in it where we pointed out that Tom Wheeler, the chair of the FCC, which is tasked with regulating cable companies, was previously a lobbyist for the cable industry. Something of a conflict of interest uh, that we summarised thusly. That is the equivalent of needing a babysitter and hiring a dingo. <laughs> Sure, it's a little offensive to Australia's favourite baby-eating animal, but needs must for the joke. And, look, you're probably wondering why I'm playing it again now. Well, on Friday, the FCC held an open meeting, and this happened. I'm just wondering if you watched the John Oliver segment about net neutrality and what you thought about it. <laughs> oh, shit! Uh, that is not good. Uh, so? What did he think? I think that it represents the um, high level of interest that exists in the topic in the country, um, and that's good. Um, I, you know, I mean, I, I, I would like to state for the record that I'm not a dingo. <laughs> First, wow. <laughs> and, and second, we never said you were a dingo. We said you were like a dingo. But now, you're denying it so strenuously, I'm honestly starting to wonder whether you are actually a dingo <laughs> after all. He even tried to throw us off the scent by pretending not to know what a dingo even is. I had to go look it up. It's a feral, wild animal in Australia. <laughs> Here's the thing. That's exactly the kind of thing a dingo would say <laughs> if he didn't want anyone to know he was a dingo. I mean, just look at a split screen right now. <laughs> the likeness is uncanny. If, think about it. If you... If you shave the one on the left, would it not look a little like the guy on the right? <laughs> because now I have lots more questions, Wheeler, such as, have you, at any time, ever consumed a swamp wallaby for its nutrients? <laughs> You probably have, you fucking dingo. <laughs> What's your answer to that? I'm not a dingo. You... You keep saying that! But now the burden of proof is on you. Unless you can produce an official document verified by a licensed zoologist <laughs> certifying that you are, in fact, not a 100% talking dingo, I don't think you can complain if Americans refuse to leave you alone in rooms with their babies. <laughs> because you'd eat them. You would eat them. Yeah, filthy dingo.